All right, so let's see. Let's get Ken, our Street Fighter, into the program off of the sprite sheets and get him standing and bobbing up and down and kicking when you hit the K key. Now, while I'm doing this one, I'm actually only going to put the standing and the kicking sprites in there just to save a bit of time. Create sprite. Sprite standing. Let's load a sprite. Sorry, let's edit the sprite. Let's grab it from a strip. And in your level 6 folder there, we have uh, Ken. Now let's make this a little bigger. All right. Our standing right here. One, two, three, four. So I have four images. Images per row. They're all in the same row. We told you in the instructions that all these sprites are 80 by 80. Now that's currently grabbing the first row. You can actually set the vertical offset. Let's go 80 down. Okay, that doesn't work. Right here, vertical pixel offset, 80 down. Okay, and it moves down into the second row. Looks good. Okay, let's grab it. A little preview. That's a little fast. A little funny looking there. Not bad. All right, looks good. Let's keep that one. Center the sprite. Perfect. Next one. Let's grab the kicking. Create sprite. Sprite kicking. Edit. Let's grab from a strip. And same thing, 80 by 80. Let's see, the kicking's way down there. I think it's at like 240. 8 times 3. Yeah, and this one has 5. So make sure to change this to 5 sprites this time. Okay. Looks good. Not bad. We'll keep that. All right. We got our two sprites centered. Hit OK. All right. Object player. Let's set off our player just standing. Okay. Give us a quick test in the room. Now, I haven't set an image speed, so he's going crazy there, right? That's all right. Let's fix this part. So let's do a little bit of a code on create method. When the player is created, let's just take that image speed and let's slow it down. So let's say image speed uh, 0.2. Test this out. Not bad. I'll just keep that for now. And now what we want to do is when the player kicks, we want to switch to the kicking sprite. So we said the K key. So add event. We'll do a key press here. Letter K. So when we switch to this, all we have to do really is switch to the kicking sprite. Later on, we're actually going to want to make sure it's okay to kick, like he's not in the middle of a punch or not already in the middle of a kick or being hit. So we're just keeping it simple now. We'll switch the sprite index to sprite kicking. Now I don't know about the speed of the sprite, whether the kick should be fast or not. So I'm just going to take a gamble here and go image speed equals, I'm going to set, set it up to 0.4. I think the kick should probably be a little bit faster. We'll see how this works. All right, let's see what happens. And here comes the kick. And there we go. Now, of course, he's endlessly into a kick right now. So let's go use that trick we used before. Maybe that was a little fast. Let's just change that to point 0.3. Now, I'll use that little trick we did before. I'm going to use the add event other animation end remember what this one does this one knows any sequence of sprite that's ending for the player whether it's standing or kicking so what I'll do here is I'm going to use this to my advantage and I'm going to say when the animation ends now I technically want it to go back to sprite standing 
But I'm going to sneak an extra little fancy line here for us. Because the problem is that when the animation ends, let's say he's kicking, animation ends, go back to standing. That should work nicely. But you have to remember this animation ends will also work for when he's standing. So when the standing animation finishes, animation end event is called, and it switches the sprite to sprite standing again, which isn't bad. Okay, so I'll run it, and it's going to work. But what you're going to notice here is I'm hitting K, and the kick's going all right. Now, sometimes it messes up a little, and like we said in our uh, introductory to the lesson, yeah, there's a little bit more i got to show you before you get this working totally perfect. So be okay if sometimes when you hit the K key, it doesn't quite seem to do what you think it's going to do. Okay, we'll fix that in a bit. Now you probably notice here that when I go back to the standing sprite, I actually, behind the scenes, I actually slowed down my kick. It was like 0.4. I actually slowed it down to 0.1. But if you remember... Our actual regular speed was 0.2. So an extra line here I should do an animation end is, for now, is put the image speed back to 0.2 as well. Now, if you got that working, that's good. The next video that's uh, going to show you how to do some stuff is going to address how to fix that weirdness, that how sometimes when you hit the K key, there's a little bit of weird stuff happening. Okay, so go watch that one, and then we're going to have uh, a couple more lessons building this up to get the standing, kicking, punching working. I think you'll really like it. It's going to use some if statements, some variables, really tie things together nicely here. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you got that one on your own.